Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're going to uncreate the showy Neotech 2. Before we jump in and break down one of the gold standards in the helmet business, go ahead and subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. Okay, when you're talking about high quality helmets, Shoei is always going to be in the conversation. Their helmets are all handmade by True Craftsmen in Japan. So, when only the best will do, the Neotech is the helmet we recommend, the Neotech 2 that is. So, every iteration from Shoei, you can expect them to just sharpen that katana. Everyone gets a little bit better. The Neotech 2 is no uh, exception to that rule. It is quiet, it is high quality, it will last years and years. There's a reason why when you're cruising out on the road, you'll see a lot of law enforcement wearing this helmet, uh, either the Neotech 2 or the RJs. It's because guys that have to climb in a helmet every day know the difference with Shoei, they know the quality, and they're gonna stand behind this for a full five year Shoei, so full five year warranty. We're gonna go in and break down this whole thing for you right now. The price tag. It is not an inexpensive helmet, this is an investment. It's gonna start at $7.99 for solids. The graphic and colorways go up to $8.99. So not cheap, again, they're gonna stand behind it for five years and I'm gonna tell you why it's worth that kind of money. When it comes to the weight, uh, it comes in right around four pounds. Modular helmets, not the lightest. You have mechanisms built in here to flip this helmet up. It also has, or flip the chin bar up. It also has that built-in um, integrated sun visor. So. Don't expect lightweight when you're shopping for a modular. It's one of the compromises you're going to make, but you do get the ability to flip that up. You can talk to a passenger, you can pump your gas, you can go into a store, whatever you need to do. That is why folks like to buy the modular helmets. And another compromise, you cannot get a Snell um, modular helmet. They don't certify Snell helmets. Uh, they don't certify modular helmets as Snell. Uh, so you're only gonna get that DOT standard. We'll talk more about safety in a little bit. Four shell sizes, so that's a lot of shell sizes. That's a good thing. You're not gonna wear more helmet than you need to. The shell breakdown is extra small, or sorry, the size range is extra small through two extra large. If you've got a big head, you're gonna run into some trouble, so you might have to shop elsewhere because there's no three, four Xs. Um, but showy sizing is very true. We have very few fitment issues with showy when people go by that sizing chart, that showy sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, when you buy your next helmet from Speedax, not only will you get let off with a warning next time you're pulled over by law enforcement, but we'd have no cost returns. So if the helmet doesn't fit, you just decide it's not for you. As long as it's new in the original packaging, within a few clicks at speedax.com, you can run a return label, get your money back, or just get a different size color. Whatever you need, risk-free shopping, we'll treat you like family, give us a shot. Okay, enough with my plugs, let's talk more about the helmet. The shell construction, is a five layer construction and those are layers of both fiberglass and aramid fibers and so it is a really durable and strong shell in terms of safety puncture protection impact protection showy makes excellent shells in fact the guy who or gal who lays the shell actually puts their initials inside of each one and so it's just a true piece of craftsmanship and the highest quality materials let's talk about ventilation next so Shoei does ventilation right. Every one of their switches just feels like quality. Nothing on this helmet's gonna feel cheap when you manipulate it with your hand. First up, we got the chin bar vent. Just real solid, easy to work with gloves on, up and down. It's not some little tiny knob here that you have to fiddle around with and search for with your gloves on. It's just really smooth looking um, switch. The other thing that they take into consideration is noise. Everybody wants the quietest helmet, especially in the modular category. Guys wearing racing helmets, hypersport helmets, they don't care, they're gonna wear earplugs. Guys touring with modular helmets or doing a lot of mileage want a quiet helmet that Neotech 2 fits that bill. And it's the way, you see there's no hard edges here. It's all smooth lines and designs to not drag air to be as quiet as possible. Up here, this switch, you can't miss it, it's huge. This is gonna activate your intake up on the crown area. It's one big paddle switch. It has three positions, and so you can have it halfway open or all the way open or completely closed. So you do have some choices there, and those, those, uh, those, those sections are real easy to hit there. So real easy, on, off, halfway in the middle. Ventilation in the back. We have an exterior exhaust vent that's gonna allow the vacuum exhaust to pull the hot air out and bring the cool air into the helmet. 
And remember, if that's not cool enough for you, once you slow down or stop, you pop that open and get some more air. That's one of the benefits of a modular helmet. You can always get more air when you need to by just flipping that up. Inside of the helmets where the real magic happens with Shoei because their ventilation ducting inside of that EPS foam. EPS foam is what absorbs the energy and the impact that's inside behind the shell. Their foam is all ducted and it's like a mini HVAC system and it's really smart in the way it pulls air through the helmet. We'll pop up a graphic so you can see what I'm talking about there. And then when we open this helmet up in a minute, we'll show you more about the ventilation system. The shield, face shield is 99% UV blocking and anti-fog, anti-scratch. That goes for the exterior shield as well, well as this interior sun shield. So you have the sun protection. Out of the box, you're gonna get the clear and you're gonna get this smoke sun visor. If you wanna mix it up, they do have a variety of exterior lenses. So whatever suits your needs, but really this standard configuration has you set up for all lighting conditions. If you leave in the morning, when it's dark out, pop this up. When you're coming home from the office, you wanna get more sun protection, drop that down. No need to carry an extra visor, but uh, if you do want to run a different exterior, they have them. Injection molded, really thick, sturdy uh, exterior visor. And then when fog is an issue, Beyond the, ex or the fog coating that is applied to these shields from the factory, they also include a pin lock insert in the box. Okay, there it is. You got a pin lock. What is a pin lock? That is a lens that installs inside of this shield to create a dual pane system. So it goes on the inside, attaches these two little nipples. It's gonna help manage the temperature differential between the inside and outside and reduce or eliminate fog. They're giving that to you free of charge with the, the helmet as they should at this price point. So that is the face shield system. Let's talk about some other goodies that you can add on to this sold separately. The Neotech 2 is set up for a comm system. Could you run? There's a specific comm system made by Senna. It's called the Shoei Rider Link. There's two versions I'm gonna go over right now. But before I do that, my disclaimer is that you can run different comms if you want. They just won't be sleekly integrated like the showy rider link inside of the helmet which we'll show you in a second are two speaker pockets so again you can if you already have a comm system you want to run that you can put an adhesive mount and you'll be good to go but the showy rider link options made by senna are right here this is the first one this is the original showy rider link uh, srl system from senna this is a great unit it does bluetooth that you could hook it up to navigation comms uh, music, whatever you need to do. I think it's up to eight riders by Bluetooth. That is the original SRL sold for $299. More recently, <clears throat> they've come out with an upgraded unit. This is the Mesh, the SRL uh, Mesh unit. And this one has upgraded speakers by Har Harman Kardon. And it also does full mesh up to 24 riders. Uh, $299 for the OG, this one's $359. So a $60 upgrade for full mesh and upgraded speakers. You do you, whichever one uh, meets your qualifications. They both look, whoops, when you pull them out of the box, they both look something like this, and they plug in and install within a few minutes. So, I mean, I, I don't know, I think I've done one of these in about five, five or eight minutes. And that's what these uh, little compartments are for. So these uh, click right off, and then you plug in the computer and the controls and the battery pack in the back. So that is the Shoei Rider Link, super easy plug and play and uh, the way to go with the comms if you have an S or a, sorry, a Neotech 2. Okay, let's flip this helmet over and show you what we're working with on the inside of the Neotech 2. The bottom of the helmet is where you really win the battle with noise. And the way Shoei's done that is they've paid special attention to the cheap pad design. They have um, the comfort foam is meant to isolate and block noise from coming into the helmet from the bottom up. Most people don't know, but that's the majority of where the noise is coming from on your motorcycle is from the bottom. So they pay special attention here. They've created this, uh, see these flaps that are part of the cheek pad system? And they wrap onto the, uh, the chin strap here to make a really good seal around the bottom of your, your jawline and your neck and keep the noise out of your ears. They also give you a chin curtain and all the moldings, uh, the switches, everything about the showy is really quality when you touch you can remove this if you want to uh, but it is all really quality molding remember i told you you know uh, chp out here in california a lot of them are wearing these 
it's professional grade, you know, everything about this, which is nice when you have moving parts like a chin bar that swings up, all the fittings and metal inner workings of this modular helmet are all stainless steel. So they're gonna stand the test of time. Same with this guy. So <clears throat> the cheek pads, like I was talking to you about, are very robust and meant to deal with the noise. Uh, I'll pull this out so you can see what we're working with. Showy does offer some different cheek pads options, so you can fine tune the fit on your Neotech if you run into any fitment issues. And SpeedX is happy to help you with that if you shop with us. The other thing you're noticing right now is that quick release chin strap. Once you use one of these, you won't want to go back. It's just super easy, especially for those quick rides around town. You're not messing around with the uh, double D rings. Really easy to get in and out of this guy. All right. Let's move this comfort liner out of the way. The other thing you're gonna notice is that battery pack pocket. That's for the, the Showy Rider Link communication system that I already showed you. And inside here, we got removable washable liner. It's their 3D Max Dry cheek pads and headliner. This is all replaceable too. So, you know, if you ride a lot and you beat this up, you're washing it, you get a lot of cycles in, you can always buy a replacement and cl completely refurbish your helmet because the neck roll is also part of the cheek pad. And when you're setting this down on rough surfaces, this is usually what gets chewed up. So if you wanna refurbish your helmet, it doesn't cost too much to get all the different pads and liners. We also sell those. Inside here, you are gonna see the cheek pad pockets. They have these little uh, blockers here if you're not gonna use those. But that is for the, whoops, for the speaker pocket, sorry. That is for the comm system. You also notice this channel for the boom mic because you can't use a traditional sticky mic on the chin bar because it is moving. So you're gonna use that boom mic attachment and you'll be able to communicate with whoever you need to with the chin bar up or down. When it comes to safety, this has a multi-density EPS foam liner in here. It is channeled and port ported, that's for the, uh, the cooling system, but multi-density EPS means it's gonna absorb energy uh, differently in different types of impacts. So it's really well-rounded crash protection. When we're talking about safety, when you go with a modular helmet, of course, it's not quite as safe. The chin bar cannot be as sturdy as a fixed chin bar on a traditional full face helmet. But if I was going to crash in a modular helmet, this is the one I'd pick. I'd want the, the highest quality helmet out there and the Neotech 2 is uh, fitting that bill for us at SpeedX, very well reviewed and a full five year warranty to protect your investment. If you want to shop for our Showy Neotech, head over to speedx.com, shop for this one or thousands of other helmets in stock every day. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.